Friday afternoon, a bit late today. Um, I've been at lunch with uh, my good friend Jeff Smith, who very kindly has lent me this Ariana and Evans wonderful looking soap. My nose isn't great, but it's got a really nice aroma. It's got um, so many ingredients I would take all day from oh, apricots and I don't know what else. But anyway, all I do know is it smells reminiscent. It's a sort of a fruity, chocolatey smell, which is rather nice and uh, reminds me of being at fairgrounds when they've got all the candy floss out. It has a sort of a fresh candy floss smell. Anyway, um, I thought this little shave today would be uh, to try out a 20K synthetic Tsuhiru Edge or Wine New Bokeh. The last shave, if any of you watched, was uh, the new bokeh with a factory edge. And although it passed the hanging hair test, it wasn't actually particularly good. This is um, quite nice actually, laughing up beautifully. Anyway, the hanging hair test, I, I normally, it, it's a good sound way of judging. The only thing is with a full Damascus, it's a totally different sound. It's, um, it's muted, it's rather dull uh, with a strictly homogeneous tool steel razor like uh, my wonderful Iberia. Thank you again, Gary. The, the Iberia, it rings like a bell and um, it's a steel of uh, unfounded and incredible quality. I don't know if they could ever repeat it. It's Swedish steel, ground in Germany. Anyway, it's given me two or three really, really good shows. Is a very fair to compare it to um, the Boca, which is brand spanking new. Uh, again, trying a little bit of hot water or a little bit more water to aerate and to make a little bit better on the lather. Actually, I've got to say, this uh, Ariana and Evans. It's very nice. Um, I hope it's a, a gentle to shave with because I'm going to give a damn good shave today. As far as lathering up goes, as you can see, it's doing a marvellous job. Mind you, I'm using my giant 30 millimeter uh, yucky brush, which is again a nine on, it's a synthetic. Um, I'd like to splash out one day on a, a, a top quality badger, but quite honestly, um, I'm not convinced. For me, I'm a man of simple shaving pleasures, and for me, the brush and the soap isn't as anywhere near as important as the razor and the edge. Anyway, I'm not going to witter on much longer. What I'm going to say is, here we are with um, this incredible piece of engineering. This is German engineering at its best. The scales on this are unbelievably good. Selected ironwood. It's the one which is only number 78 made. So I don't know if it was selected or not. You can still get them, they're still being made. All I would say is uh, for a real beast of a razor, this is a full 8.8 and she's, um, as I say, it's, it's, it's a true Damascus. So it's Damascus all the way to the very edge. And when you hone it and you look under a glass, you can actually see the waviness of the steel because the actual edge proper um, is pure but right leading up to the apex <laughs> you can actually see the wavy patterns are genuinely in the steel so let's just try what this is like on a 20k yeah it's good Yeah, it might have done it. It was asking an awful lot for a, a factory edge to be any good. Yeah, that's cutting better. But the question is, is it better than a pure carbon steel quality antique type eraser? I very much doubt it, but let's try. So here we go with the Iberia, which uh, is one of my current favourites. 
Let's see as a comparison. No, I gotta say at the moment, I still think the Iberia's got it. Let me finish off this pass. Going back to the Boca. So exactly the same area, but with the Boca. Just a little bit more muted. The same with the hanging hair test. Not grabby. A little, little less forgiving, perhaps it's, it's a slightly Although it's a deep hollow grind, I would say out the two of them. No, you can't tell. They're both supremely well made hollow ground blades. I would still say as normal, as I usually do, that the, um, the collectible 1940s, possibly 1950s, I'm not certain, Iberia, has the edge, <laughs> excuse the pun, has definitely got the edge. But there again, how hard to compare a specialised Damascus blade with a homogeneous carbon steel blade. It's probably not the best way of comparing. But going back to the, uh, the soap, I've got to say it's a very, very nice lather. That's pretty good. Let's try across the grain, or rather against the grain. Keep this one simple. Maybe a little tuggy today. Honestly, ah, it's perfect. However, let's go against the grain. Two seconds, let me pick this up off the floor. I'll try always and uh, keep my razors on a towel or a flannel. Yeah, difficult. You're comparing two rather elite objects. It's very difficult to say, but I would honestly say Yeah, it's pretty good, but for my money, because <laughs> it did cost money. Hmm, I would still say the Iberia can't beat the way that they design these classic blades. Let's just go over that again. Yeah, it's got a different feel. Very kind. Let's try a fool's path. Yeah. I like big blades. <laughs> Two ways about it. I feel far more uh, at home with a, a decent sized blade. I think um, there's something to do with the flexibility. Yeah, it's, that's pretty good. I 
I'm going to go against the grain under the chin with the bokeh. Of course, I would say for a really exotic blade, the bokeh is uh, is phenomenal looking creature. The ironwood of the uh, the scales has been selected, and it really is like a burr walnut. So extremely pretty. Rather um, hard looking, typically German. It's got a definite big masculine look to it. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Well, it's an improvement on the uh, factory age, obviously. I still don't think it's quite up to the edge and the feel of the Iberia. But then that's asking a lot, isn't it? Um, there's a confidence, big, hefty confidence with this blade. It's got a, a, a robustness and a feel to it, which is rather nice. Just trying. And under the chin pass on both sides. A touch more, a touch more larger maybe. No, it's got a slightly more brutal feel to it. It's an amazingly heavy blade. I mean, that is quite a big old brute. And yet, it gives enormous confidence. I wouldn't say it's for everybody. Um, some people like five eighths. Some people like six eighths. I, I rather fancy the, the 7 eighths and the 8 eighths, but each to their own. I can shave with anything. I've shaved very successfully with a 4 eight, which is a tiny little blade. Really, really small. But it's got a good edge. I'm happy. But for control, um, I actually prefer these, these big buggers.